Okay, welcome back to Trek in the Seven Seas. This is episode number 27. Uh, in this episode, we're staying on the West Coast and got some good news. The lease has been inducted into maintenance. So it's in maintenance. It's being worked on right now. Uh, there weren't any huge issues with the vehicle. And I only requested just some very basic stuff, new tires, a PM, and the biggest uh, one that's a little odd is I asked for the refrigerator to uh, the refrigerator door to be fixed. So I wouldn't think that would take too long. Um, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, great news there. The vehicle is in maintenance right now as we speak, and it's currently being worked on. I would think it would only take a couple weeks for them to get it all fixed up at most. So hopefully we are in the lease in the next couple weeks. So maybe mid-October we'll be in the lease, hopefully. But last episode, we left off in Reno, Nevada. We were getting some maintenance done, got that done, and now we are grabbing a load in Sparks, Nevada and headed to Santa Fe Springs, California. Let's go. All right, so after the Santa Fe Springs load, got dispatched on another one going from Eastvale, California to Hermiston, Oregon. Let's go. All right, dropped the load in Hermiston, Oregon, and then got dispatched on another one going from Portland, Oregon to Las Vegas, Nevada. Let's go. Okay, so after the Henderson load, we got dispatched on another load going from Las Vegas, Nevada to Woodland, California, which is Sacramento. However, that load is not going to make this paycheck, so we're getting into the spreadsheet right now. Okay, it's spreadsheet time. Okay guys, for this video, I had to use a different screen recorder because my the Xbox game bar that I usually use as a screen recorder on my uh, computer is just not working. So I'm actually using my phone right now on an XLS Google like Excel spreadsheet sort of thing. So yeah, if there's gonna be some weird stuff on the top and the bottom here. I can't get it off, but that, that's what that's about because my, my screen recorder just wouldn't work. So that's what we're doing this time. So whatever. All right, but for week 30, we did three loads. And in those three loads, we got 2,675 miles, and we were also paid $150 of maintenance pay when we were at Reno. That was actually from last week, but it discharged this week, so we'll do it here. We were paid a total of $1,434 at 54 cents per mile. That brings our overall to 65,822 miles, and we've been paid a total of $34,825 at 53 cents per mile. That 53 cents per mile does include things like layover and detention, if you do not include layover and detention, it goes down to 49 cents per mile. We are averaging 2,194 miles per week and being paid an average of $1,160 at the same rate per mile. If we kept this up for an entire year, we'd get 114,000 miles and be paid a total of $60,363 at the same rate per mile. And all of these numbers are gross pay. We've been employed 226 days. We've had 19 days of home time and 34 days of layover. And we've had 11 hours of detention. Between layover and detention, we've been paid $2,466. Of the 226 days we've been employed, we've spent 207 on duty. On duty just means any days we're out on the road or in maintenance or in layover. And between those on duty days, we've been paid an average of $168. 
of the 226 days we've been out on the road, we've spent 173 actually on the road driving. And every time we're actually on the road driving, we, we make $201. If you wanted to know how much you'd make in a week, if you only work say four or five or six days per week, just multiply these numbers by four or five or six, and that will give you an upper and lower range of what you will make in a given week if you work four or five or six days per week. Average load length is 627 miles, and we get an average of 380 days, uh, or 380 miles per day while we are actually on the road driving. Okay, yeah, so there's week 30. Uh, not a terrible week, and pretty confident we only have a couple more weeks of being a company driver. Now, I know I've said that about five times so far. But this one, this time it's a little different because the vehicle is currently in maintenance. So it's been inducted. They're working on it right now. I didn't have any crazy issues that need to get fixed. The only specialized thing I really asked for was for the refrigerator door to be fixed. Um, so that shouldn't be too hard. Um, so hopefully vehicle is done in a week or two. Uh, I'm currently headed to, well, I'm trying to get up to Pennsylvania going to go visit some family there and I'm also going to go see the fall colors which are always good to see so I'm making my way to Pennsylvania right now and after Pennsylvania planning on making a beeline straight back to Phoenix and by the time I get back to Phoenix you know go to Pennsylvania and then get back to Phoenix the vehicle should be ready I would think I would hope but maybe I'm wrong again I guess we'll find out but either way it's in the shop so vehicles in the shop and it can't be too much longer at this point um yeah so i know i said mid-august when i originally started doing this that it should be ready i was about two months off and it looks like it's going to be mid-october which okay that's a little annoying very annoying but in reality i'm not missing much diesel is six dollars a gallon big mechanic shortage big part shortage so i'm not totally upset with the entire situation so but but that will do it for this episode thank you for watching uh if you're interested in this spreadsheet or any of the other spreadsheets i've done in the past they are available in the about section and if you're interested in truck driving there is a link in the comment section and in the about section just hit that link fill out your information any driver recruiter will get a hold of you thanks for watching